Hi guys, how you doing? Um, in this video I wanted to talk a little bit about one of the major dilemmas that you face when you're teaching HEMA. Um, those of you that know me and have, have trained with me will not be surprised to hear that I haven't planned this video out, so uh, be prepared for me to ramble a little bit. Um, but there's, there's something I've noticed over the last few years, that as an instructor of HEMA, I've, I've struggled with. And that's the, the balance that you have to strike between training for yourself and teaching your students. Um, the fact is, if you're involved in HEMA, the chances are you quite like to fight. Um, doesn't necessarily mean that you're, you're into tournaments. Some, of, some people will be, some people aren't. Um, but free play and sparring and actually putting the techniques that you're training into, into practice is going to be something that's quite important to you. Um, and you probably quite enjoy that. But if you're teaching other people, then you have to, to a degree, set that to one side in order to, to allow them to train and grow. Um, some people strike a balance in one particular way, some people in, in another way. Some people spend more time teaching and very little time actually fighting. Some people spend a lot of time fighting and not as much time teaching. Now, it's perfectly possible to, to use free play and sparring as a teaching tool. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that the two are completely mutually exclusive. Just that over the years I've noticed that when I focus on my own personal development, when I focus on me as a fighter and I spend time working on getting better at, at fighting, at sparring, at free play and even in, in the tournament situation, my club actually gets significantly smaller and when I focus predominantly on teaching, on developing drills and on passing on skills to other people and allowing them to focus on their training and using that sparring time to either work with the newer, less experienced members on developing their skills or, or simply just, just talking through theoretical points with other people that my club gets bigger and bigger and the club itself is more successful. But interestingly, I've noticed that we have more success as a club when sparring against people from other clubs or entering competitions or getting together at the Grand Assault at Arms, things like that, if I'm fighting too. So the club is bigger and looks ostensibly to be more healthy when I'm concentrating on teaching. But the, and whilst the club is smaller when I'm concentrating on fighting, the people in that club are actually better at fighting. So it's almost as if by concentrating on my fighting, I'm drawing other people along too. Now there are a couple of guys in my club that have always given me a, a, a run for my money. But four or five years ago, there were probably only two... Yeah, I can only think of two. Two swordsmen in the UK who I'd have been at all concerned about facing in a tournament situation. Um, now, yeah, there's quite a lot. There's probably two or three in my own club that I'd be very concerned about not being able to beat. So, what do you think? Um, are you an instructor? Do you run a HEMA group? Have you noticed a similar thing? If, if you train in HEMA, have you noticed your, where does your instructor fall on that spectrum? Do they, do they fight a lot? If so, how's the club doing? Is it, is it successful? Are the people in it good fighters? I'd be very interested. It, this may be something that's unique to me. I don't know. Um, it may be a fairly general thing within HEMA. It's very difficult to know. But that, that balance between coaching other people and developing as a fighter yourself is... I've still not quite found the right balance for me. And, and this is something that I've been thinking a lot about. I'm going to be doing another video on this relatively soon because I'm two subscribers off the 3,000. And I've decided that, um, that I know what I'm going to do when I get to 3,000 subscribers. It's going to be, it's going to be about me, obviously, because that's, that's, you know, that, that's kind of what I talk about the most, me. Um, 
but hopefully it's going to be the start of a, a new a new playlist, a new journey that you guys can can follow along with. So um, I very much value your comments. So let me know what you think and keep your eyes open uh, for for that three thousand mark being being hit, and um, and we'll take it from there. Anyway, uh, I'm, I'm off training fairly soon. Uh, I'm going to Matt Easton's class in Woking tonight. He runs a group there every two weeks. And we're going to be doing some, some wrestling. Uh, there's a group of people that, are, that did the scientific wrestling certification course with me. And we're going to be getting together and uh, hurting each other quite a lot on some mats. So if you're, if you're in the area, you get this video, come along to Woking. Um, and say, what's a grovet? And I'll be very happy to show you. Anyway, take care guys, I'll see you soon.